Mouth commercial. I can't hear him unless I'm just shut up. <laughs> shut up, I'll be honey. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Good evening, everybody. Thank you all so much for tuning in tonight. We are <coughs> so excited to welcome back Kieran Kane and Raina Geller. This is their first time here in quite some time, and they're going to be sharing some amazing folk music, which just feels so right in this room. I, I think everything feels different and looks different, but hearing some good old traditional folk music brings us back home and makes everything feel a little bit normal. Um, so we hope that you enjoy the show, um, and we ask that you throw into the virtual tip jar. Um, you can do that at kathylina.org slash tips. You'll also see that link on the side of this video. So without any further ado, I'm gonna pass it over to Kieran and Raina. Thank you, Thank you. Carolyn. Thank you. Uh, welcome, <laughs> <laughs> I guess. It's a little, a little strange, but we're gonna do the best we can. Uh, we good? Let's just go for it. Okay, <laughs> two, three, go. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. 
awkward moments in streaming. Right, so we're, we're apparently, uh, there actually is a, um, a virtual tip jar. There's not really a tip jar. No. And that's fine. You don't have to send a tip. It's been a long time since I've played three tips, <laughs> frankly. Uh, but, but I think some of it goes to um, Cafe Lena. Yes. That would be, that so would you be can important. support both your, your favorite uh, venue as well as your local unemployed musicians. This is the um, uh, first show that we've played since March, uh, and that was at the uh, Port Ferry Folk Festival in uh, Australia. <clears throat> So it's been quite a, quite a while between gigs. <laughs> feeling, <laughs> feeling a little rusty here, but thanks uh, to anyone who's tuned in. I'm hoping somebody's tuned in. It's so hard to tell. It's so hard. 168 people tuned in. What? Really? 168 people? Yeah. Crazy. Wow. What's wrong with Jeez. you people? That's amazing. <laughs> wow, so that's, that's a good sign. Yeah. The number's going up. So we oh, should keep good. playing or stop. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ready? Two, three, go. Rivers arising from all this rain. So are we, are we supposed to like answer questions or? If people have them, I'll let you know, but so okay. far no one's So far no one. Oh. They're happy you're doing this. Okay. Yay. Great. We're happy we're doing this too. This is a number called uh, Bailout Blues. We haven't actually recorded this yet. Um, maybe we'll do this winter. We'll see. This is, uh, I know it's, it's hard, hard to keep track of all the problems in the United States. 
but this is uh, this was from a problem that was in the news last summer that made us write this song about farmers being up against the tariffs and having to be bailed out. And the small farmers getting the short end of the stick <clears throat> if they got a chance to see the stick at all. <laughs> and we had a couple of farmers that said, sounds pretty right on. So. <laughs> <laughs> whatever encouragement you might get to vote two or three times you don't want to do that just do it the once nice and early everybody vote whoever whoever it is you want to vote for but just the once Dead air here. <laughs> yeah, how's it going over there, Carolyn? It's good. Uh -oh. <laughs> Hello, people from all over on the on the interwebs. We're glad you're here with us. So, put your popcorn down and snuggle up next to somebody you love.
I get to see you in the morning when you rise. And any day I get to see you, I'm alright. I never could have seen it coming. I still can't believe it's true. I don't I guess you all out there don't know how unusual this is. <laughs> but we're happy to have you aboard. We're thrilled to have you aboard, in fact. I don't know if any of the, um, whether Lukey or Milo, or I'm sure baby sister's long, long gone to sleep. Yeah, uh, wondering, wondering about the grandkids. So send out our love to uh, the grandkids, Eli, Lukey. Hey, kids. Emily Rose and the amazing Milo. Howdy. <laughs> Ready? Mm-hmm. One, two, three, four.
Oh, wow. It's, the, it's always the first it's, question. It's, it's, it's always well, the first question. What is that instrument? That's always the first um, This is an octave mandolin. Um, it's made by a flat iron. It's the only instrument. Actually, it's the second instrument that I bought new in my entire life. And the first one when I was uh, 13 years old. And it was a long time ago. <laughs> But it's basically tuned like a mandolin. It's eight string instrument. If it weren't tuned like a mandolin, I wouldn't be able to play it because that's I know how to play the mandolin or I can play at it. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Um, I went into a music store and it was hanging on the wall and I'd never seen anything like it. And I took it down and went and I went, how much is this? <laughs> um, and it was way more than I could afford. And the lovely people at um, Flatiron in Montana, um, they wouldn't give me an endorsement deal, <laughs> which is fine, but they sold it to me at cost. So, <laughs> uh, Thanks, Flatiron. Thank you, Flatiron. And, I, I, and that is, whenever we do a show, and we basically always say, are there any questions, that's got to be nine times out of ten. Easily. Easily. First question. The first question what is, is that what is thing? That? What are we doing? Ghost. Any other questions, Carolyn? That's, that's going on right now. Oh, okay. We have a lot of song requests. Oh. Uh oh. Should we just ignore those? I mean, you can make that list, so that's easier. Maybe for like an encore or something later on. Yeah, I guess we can see how it goes. And a uh, uh, song request? She said there's been lots of song requests. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. golly. Are any of them on this list that we have down here? Because <laughs> if they are, we're going to get right to them. <laughs> Thank you. All three of you. 
I am curious about the request list, I gotta say. <laughs> I'm not as curious. <laughs> so, I'm, I'm afraid, afraid it's gonna be bad, bad Leroy Brown. <laughs> So this is uh, Raina. Oh, we have we have. No, I'm just taking a picture. Oh, just oh, taking yeah. a picture. Hi. Look. <laughs> Does it get any more awkward? <laughs> okay, we'll try. But you're standing right there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. Two, three, go. question might be what, what what are we doing now we'd be tuning mostly for your benefit sorry it's one of those things we've changed dead air keys. this is this is when the folks at home can pop some more popcorn pop some more popcorn see Kieran and I both use uh, a lot of open tunings like between the two of us right now I think there are only two notes <laughs> on these instruments yeah, that's true. <laughs> so that's what we're, we're tuning to the next tuning settle in because we're going to be here for a while <laughs> <laughs> no it's just <clears throat> one long drone basically <clears throat> that's how we like it it's our version of the bagpipe Actually, why don't you say something, something? charming or funny or something, um, just so I can... Okay. So, well, it, it, yeah. um, it actually, I've actually never 
played here at Cafe Lena. Uh, Kieran has played here, but it's been like a zillion years ago. And, um, but we love this place and we love coming into Saratoga Springs. For those of you who are wondering, because obviously we're, we're based in Nashville, um, but we hide out in the Adirondacks in the summer and, you know, during pandemics. <laughs> <laughs> we like to hide in the Adirondacks. So it's actually only about a 45 minute drive for us to come do this tonight. And we, we come into Saratoga Springs like every couple weeks, put on our masks and buy some groceries. We, get, we go down to the Uncommon Grounds and pick up some coffee beans. Yay, Uncommon Grounds. So maybe since there's so many people watching, maybe we're gonna get like a, some kind of endorsement deal with Uncommon Grounds. That would be nice. We, we like coffee. Get, we should get all of our um, turkey sandwiches free from Putnam's. Oh, we yeah. We, Putnam's. we go to Putnam's Market, <laughs> and we get the turkey sandwiches. So if there's no one from Putnam's watching, <laughs> but you know Putnam's, go and tell them about this endorsement. Yes. Tell them they, and, they got a um, shout out. They, Worldwide they, shout out. Exactly. About Putnam Market and Saratoga Springs. People will be coming from Melbourne, Australia to get a turkey sandwich. <laughs> Russian dressing. I'm sorry, I have no idea what's going on with this banjo. I think oh, I need okay. to trade it in for something well, else. I don't know. What else can I talk about? There's a, apparently there's a, a link over here somewhere in the video for the tip jar. Once again, to, to let you know, those tips are being shared between us and the wonderful institution that is Cafe Lena. So if you don't feel like supporting us, maybe you feel like supporting Cafe Lena. <laughs> I would understand. It's okay. It's not a problem. <laughs> okay. Ready? Mm -hmm.
Stable. Yeah. Not very. Not very stable. We wrote the song in uh, Peninsula, Peninsula, Ohio, the night before a gig. I actually wrote a song on the road. That, that's something one thinks about doing from time to time, and that just never gets done. And uh, sadly, the song just keeps on being relevant. Yeah, right. we thought it wouldn't be, it was a moment in time. Yeah, and there's a, there's a music video for it, in case you're uh, not fully grasping the meaning of the words <laughs> as they come flying at you through the internet. You can look on our YouTube page, look up Stable, to see the rather entertaining music video that my brother Jonah made for us. tune from the fiddling barber, Raina Gellert. <laughs> <laughs> you tell them about your fiddle tune? <laughs> I thought you wanted me to tell them about my barbering. <laughs> <laughs> and that's pretty obvious, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Apologies for Kieran's haircut. <laughs> this is a, a tune that I made up. It's called, I Thought You Were a Goat, Number One. And uh, there are, um, I thought you were a goat's numbers two and three also out there in the world. And you should hunt them down because they're both really cool. <laughs> I didn't write those. Thank you. 
house audience. Thank you very much. It makes a big difference to have a couple people applauding. But you know, it really does. It does. Oh my gosh. If it was total dead air, I, it would be very difficult. It'd be so. like playing in Tokyo. Thanks. <laughs> Well, I've never played in Japan, but I've been led to believe that nobody applauds, uh, applauds until the end of the show, which is really difficult. That would be. You're sitting there going, what am I, what? What, give me something to work with here. Um, what are we doing, Greybird? Mm-hmm. Greybird. How's the chat window, Carolyn? It's happening. It's happening, uh-oh, that sounds like the numbers are going down. saying <laughs> well yeah, well, there yeah. Is. <laughs> okay I should, not, I should have asked <laughs> and everybody knows what this instrument is right yes we've done that we've done that part. we've covered that okay we're gonna do another song um, it's called Greybird.
So, um, Carolyn and I were chatting before the show started about just sort of the weirdness of having all the time off and not having gigs and sort of what, what happens to your musical brain when it's just left to its own devices. I know for Kieran and I, there was sort of a, like, not even touching instruments chunk of time right after we got back from Australia when the tour got canceled and everything was just crazy and scary and weird. And then after a while, uh, we both started picking up instruments and, and there's been a lot of just kind of playing whatever springs to mind. And um, this is one of those songs that we just really love singing around the house. And so we thought we would sing it for you. It's a country classic. <laughs> Classic corner. <laughs> I used to work in a honky tonk in the San Fernando Valley in Los Angeles at a place called the Playtime Lounge. And it was many a night someone came in to sing, Please Help Me, I'm Fallen. 
<laughs> they'd say, what key you want it in? And they'd go, same key as the record. I'm like, what? <laughs> what? I'm going to need a little more to go on. <laughs> Hum a few bars and I'll try and find where you are. <laughs> what are we doing? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. That's, that's, that's actually the name of the song. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't got Jesus. Ain't got Jesus. One, two, three. going crazy. <laughs> you can't hear them screaming more and more, but they're doing it. What any any news for us, Carolyn? Um, Brian Wilson says, if Siri needs to fill a little time, ask him to tell the story of finding his guitar. Who, wants this? who said that? Brian Hinson? I don't know who that is. That's a familiar name, uh, but he, he's yeah, saying that... The story of your guitar. This guitar? Really? Okay, uh, I'll, I'll, do, I'll do it as quickly as possible. Um, I, was, I was actually driving up to the cabin from Nashville uh, in the middle of the winter, a long time ago, and I, got, I thought I'd be, maybe do some painting or do some writing, whatever. I got to Louisville and realized I didn't have a guitar or any other musical instrument with me. And, but I knew there was a little 
uh, antique store in Northville, this little town, it's about like Mayberry, I imagine, and um, they sold CDs and they had some instruments hanging on the wall, and I thought, well, I could go in there and get a, a you know, guitar, you know, an inexpensive uh, guitar that I could just leave at the cabin, and if it got froze to death, that would be fine. And uh, so I, I drove into town expecting to find nothing uh, other than that, and this guitar was hanging on the wall, and um, I said, well, how much do you want for that guitar? And they said they wanted $150, and I said, I'll take it. <laughs> and uh, I haven't played another guitar on a record, or live, as far as I know. I might have played that little Gibson a few times, but mm -hmm. basically this is the only guitar I play anymore, and I love this guitar. And I don't know if, if Brian, if, if, is this the guy who had this guitar? Because <laughs> if he wants it back, forget it. <laughs> Huh? I don't know. I, I think we just well, the story of it. that's the story. It's a, it's a good story. Now everyone is just saying, more music. <laughs> <laughs> Make him stop. <laughs> it's not that easy. Okay. <laughs> We're doing one foot. This is a cheery little number called One Foot in the Grave. Hardly Strictly Bluegrass Festival out in San Francisco. Um, I was there playing with the wonderful Scott Miller. Scott Miller and Bryn Davies and I were a band that weekend. So fun. And, um, and I had heard about Kane Welch Kaplan, which was the band that Kieran was there performing with. 
And so, like, loads of people had been like, oh, you need to check them out, you would love them. So I made a point of going to their set, and, and I heard him playing the banjo, and I was like, why don't I know that guy? We should be playing music together. Duh. <laughs> so then I just had to force him to play music with me. <laughs> don't give it all away. We wanted to go see the movie. Oh, here, here, here's something for Brian. <laughs> just for you, Brian. Just for you, Brian. I bought this banjo in the same music store in Northville, New York for the same price. <laughs> it's an old K. And if you're wondering, that music store is, it doesn't exist anymore. Yeah. And every time we walk by that place downtown, he's like, that's where I got him. And I'm like, why doesn't it still exist? Yeah. I want to get something there. Yeah. Doesn't exist. <laughs> Double checking. Okay, so so if you were at a live show with us, this, you would be saying this same thing. You know, I'm just wondering about the people that are clamoring for more music and wondering how much they paid to get in. <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> These are the jokes. <laughs> we're not in it for the money. We're in it for the good times. But apparently there is a link down here somewhere. <laughs> I'm For I'm those motioning that are. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I hear. There's a link down there.
So we've got time for a couple of more songs for you out there. Radio <laughs> Land. I guess it's not really Radio Land, is it? Internet Land? Internet Land. It just doesn't have the same ring, does it? Mm -hmm. um, is that about right, time-wise? A couple more? Great, because that's all we've got. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, so we, we were, have been fortunate enough now, as the uh, Karen Kane Raina Gellert uh, experience. experience. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do. Uh, to play the Grand Ole Opry, and it was a, a great thrill. We sat on the, on, the new, thrill. on the new stage where they have a, a big circle where they, that they cut out of the original Ryman Auditorium because when, the, when they moved to the new place, all the people that were, had been performing in the Ryman for years didn't really care much about the Ryman. They wanted some place that had dressing rooms. Uh, and, and air conditioning, which is fair enough. Um, so they just took this one hunk of the stage with them and they planted it in the middle of the stage at the new Opryland um, Grand Ole Opry uh, complex. Co complex. I don't know. <laughs> the complex. Compound. Yeah. So, we, but we get to sit in in this uh, in the center of of this, this on this circle, and it was really great. Pretty thrilling to think how many amazing country musicians have been on that piece of wood floor. Yeah. Pretty thrilling. Minnie Pearl. Wow. Hank Williams. Okay. <laughs> so uh, this is the so first song we ever played on the Grand Ole Opry. the chance to play some music absolutely so uh, huge thanks to everyone at Cafe Lena thanks to Carolyn for manning the chat room and organizing social media type of stuff and I don't know probably Joe. all sorts of other things that we don't even know she's doing and Joe back there on the in-room sound and Joel who's hiding in a room where we can't see him but apparently he's the helper monkey who's doing all the stuff with the cameras and the sound feed that's going out to you people in the internet land so, so if we look you. bad or sound bad it's his send fault. your cards and letters to joel 
but no, we're hugely, hugely grateful. Yes. And um, yeah, and just thanks to everyone so much for tuning in. I, I'm shocked that you didn't have something better to do on Friday night, but we love you. Thank you yep. for spending your time with us. It's boy, boy, do we miss doing music for people. <laughs> So there's a, I mean, it's a, everybody knows it's a bad time uh, that the world is in. And today is an anniversary of a very bad time in the United States. So we're going to just send this last tune out and hope that everybody gets to feeling better real soon. Thanks again to everyone yep. out there and here. like that was such a vibe I don't know um how many people want to <laughs> really do they really want to um something we haven't done something yet. something does anybody have any suggestions <laughs> um oh come on
fun. We can think of a song, can't we? Certainly. Certainly we can. Oh, you know, we can do a murder family song. That would be a, a Oh my flavor. gosh. That would be. We'll do that. That'd be a whole different, whole different flavor. Okay, encore. We're gonna do an old Carter family song. This we've never played this out of the living room, and it's only been partially successful there. So we'll show you what kind of sports we really are. And uh, <laughs> yeah, this is uh, another cheery, upbeat, happy song called <laughs> "Wouldn't Mind Dying If Dying Was All." <laughs> Howdy. If there's any if there's anyone watching from Brady Lake, Ohio, I'm sending this one out to you because I, I learned it from you people. So is that right? Oh, it's too late now. Oh, I know. That's close enough. You okay. Start tuning for the encore. <laughs>